How's it going, Mr. World Rage? This is Kane right here. Yo. He's actually the owner of the shop, the cave, that I'm in right now. Yeah, the cave. So like explain what your store is. Uh, so basically it's kind of like a resale shop. I sell Supreme, Vape, Antisocial, um, V-Lone, some Off-White, uh, Travis merch, most merch honestly. I don't know, I sell a lot of like hype old streetwear I've just seen. Um, how'd, you, like, how'd you get the name Kid? Um, so funny enough, uh, probably like three years ago, I made an Instagram and I wanted like one of those cool one word Instagram names. Uh, so I found a guy who actually had a bunch of them and he was selling them. So I bought the name Caveman for like $20. <laughs> and, and then, I don't know, it just kind of went crazy from there. And then I named the store after myself, the Caveman. That's the thing. Um, like, what made you start getting fly and shit? Um, I mean, I've always really been into clothes. Like, I've just been, I'm from the city, so I, you know, I'm, I was always in Soho. Um, I grew up across the street from FIT, so, you know, I was just always watching people get fly, just fashion, you know, shit like that. So, I don't know, it just kind of naturally happened. And what, what made you realize that you could start making money on this Um, I mean, I've been reselling since I was like 16, so I always knew, like, I could make money off of it. Like, I used to be sleeping outside of fucking Foot Lockers, camping out for shoes, or like, Lining up at Supreme to get some shit that was dropping. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. You actually met like notable people, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just being in the city, like I always run into people. Um, everyone kind of grows up knowing each other for the most part. Like, there's never really too many like new people, I guess. So like, just seeing familiar faces, and then um, yeah, I've met like a lot. Of, especially since opening up the store, I've definitely met like a lot of notable fans. One of them is actually Pierre Born, right? Yeah. Speaking of Pierre, this song is actually his. He made the beat for this. Um, yeah, Pierre. I threw a pop up in here a couple weeks ago. Um, that was pretty lit. There was a lot of people came out for that. Um, I used to work at Round Two, so I met like a lot of famous people there. Uh, kind of just establishing connections, you know. People just kind of fuck with me as a person, so you know, real and recognize real. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So it just kind of happened. Um, like you throw a few, you throw, actually throw a lot of like pop ups here. Yeah, I do, I do. Every every week we do some shit. And like, so like, what's kind of like like what's the preparation behind starting a pop up or like getting a pop up going? Shit, this pop up we do right now uh, probably Kim hit me up at like 1 a.m. and said yo TJ wanted to do a pop-up and I was like yeah fuck it let's run it like, <laughs> so lit, so it's never it. really any preparation I'm gonna come in and open up the shop regardless so yeah. like you know it doesn't really take too much I guess the marketing and promotion of it is probably like the biggest part but like um, and also like with, with pop-ups it actually brings people to your store yeah it does so it uh, you know it kind of introduces the store to people who didn't know it about it or like people who might have known about it, but you know, if you don't really see something, it kind of leaves your mind in a way. So yeah, it definitely brings like a lot of people in. That's perfect. How'd you get in tune with Brad Hall? Oh, Brad Hall? <laughs> Nick Brad. Yeah, that's the, that's the best Instagram account on Instagram, Brad. Is hilarious. Um, I met Brad uh, probably like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Maybe, I think it was Hype Fest. Um, I just always, I knew Brad on Instagram a long time. Like, I've been following him for a while. And then when I saw him, I don't know, I just kind of talked to him, spoke to him, he fucked with me. I don't know, he's cool. He's funny. Yeah, he's love. Shout out Brad. Brad, you fly, my guy. Where do you see, like, the camp going to the next five Um, bro, I don't even honestly know what the fuck's going on in a month from now. So it's like, I just kind of take it as it goes. Um, I'm about to open up a couple more stores soon. Uh, I got another one getting ready to open up in November. Uh, once I sign the lease, I'll definitely let people know about that. Um, probably gonna do one in China. My partner's from China, so we're gonna open one up there. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. I'm also in college too, so it really depends. Oh shit, so you're actually in college, you're doing all this. Yeah, I go to NYU, I'm in nursing school right now. Oh, that's such a fire. Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Nah, nah. You're in nursing school. Yeah. But you're getting your bread this way. Yeah, because I was a nurse in the military for five years. Oh, so you wait, 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 wait. Alright. So let's go back, back, back. Yeah. Wait, wait. So you're so you're selling clothes at 16, right? Yeah. Making money that way. Yeah. 
Okay, what made you decide to go to the military? Um, because I was making like okay money, but it wasn't like anything really crazy. And then um, I grew up with my mom uh, and my siblings, so I'm a single mom. You know, she couldn't really afford college. So I was like, what was the best option? I was getting into mad trouble in the city because. I don't know, we just do stupid shit, like yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. I don't know, throw, New York. <laughs> throw staple bottles at buses and like fucking rob corner stores. Just do stupid shit. Like. So the military was like some structure, I guess. Um, that was cool. I got out like three years, two years ago. We do, we do the and so like after being in the military, that's when you went to NYU. Like yeah, they pay they pay for your yeah they pay for my tuition. All right, so like you're in the military, you're doing nursing. What yeah. did you pick nursing? Even though you were just because because I was already a nurse in the military, and then like even now I'll go to class, and that shit is just mad easy. Because like I already did it for so long, it's like I already know everything, and then like. I'm so much older than everyone that I don't know the concept of college to me is just a lot easier than like the average individual. It's just like, I'm gonna go do your thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it and then after I graduate, nurses make like $100,000 a year, so I'll be chilling if anything. Like, I don't really gotta do much. So like, is that kind of like your fallback? Yeah, that's my backup plan. And that's 100% your backup plan? Yeah, like if I ever decide one day I wanna do this, like the store's lease is up in like two years, so if I decide I don't wanna do this shit anymore, I'll just go work in a hospital. It doesn't matter, whatever. Um, do you see yourself being like an influencer? Like, would you call yourself? Yeah, I'm already a motherfucking influencer. I'll tell you that much. But uh, all these little Insta new little Supreme Instagram niggas just be stealing my whole shit. Every single one of y'all, y'all all know who you are because you all be reaching out to me for the sauce all the time, anyway. So. I'm already an influencer. Like I, I work with a lot of brands. Like I work with Converse. Uh, I, I did a custom shoe with them. I market for StockX. They be reaching out to me. Um, I'm doing some shit with Lacoste right now. Uh, I'm always working with brands, so I've, I've been an influencer. Where and like kind of like if you like if you have any advice for the like upcoming influencer, what would you get? Shit. One, don't give a fuck what no one says. Like it doesn't matter what anyone thinks about you. It doesn't fucking matter what anyone says. Like. If you see some shit that you're good at or you like doing, do it. And then just like find some creative and stay in your lane and then just like really get good at that. Because once you do that, like, I don't know, people just notice you. And like, the biggest thing is doing. Like, people don't do, people always talk about doing something or say they want to do something, but they don't really do it. You know what I mean? So that's like the biggest thing. That's really what sets you apart from everyone else. Yeah, for sure. Like, like I was fucking, I was posting, I was walking around Soho with a fucking Louis Vuitton baby in my hand because I thought it was fire but you know niggas were looking at me like who's this nigga but and here I am I'm like oh that's the kid with the Louis Vuitton baby and I just kind of goes from that make yourself stand out type shit that's yeah. what you gotta do. not give a fuck do not give a fuck at all at all man. that's really fire um with the nursing and shit like that I'm just, I'm just still stuck on that. I wasn't expecting you to be like the same here in nursing at all. Exactly. Like, just like, I don't know. What, how'd you like come up with, like, how'd you get the store? Uh, so, this store was actually a store before I opened it. It was called Cop vs. Drop. But um, they shut down because they just weren't, they were a consignment shop and they weren't doing well as a consignment shop. So um, I was like, you know what? I have my own shit. I got all this stuff. I might as well come in and do it myself. So I opened it up. The space was available and no one was in here. So I was like, fuck it, might as well. Yeah, and I have a partner. How'd you link up with that? You know, it's funny. I've known him since I was like 11. We've been playing, Yu uh, well, I play Yu Gi Oh! Uh, I travel the world going to Yu Gi Oh! tournaments and shit. Yeah, like I've been to Italy, Japan, Germany. I would like rank top 300. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I met him. I met him when I was 12, and I don't know. We just always been into it, so supreme and shit. And that's just kind of how it came along. Bro. That's right. You know, I was expecting you to meet him at NYU. Nah, nah, nah. He he don't go to school. I don't even know if he graduated high school. You know, that's true. And any like networking tips you have? Bro? Um, don't be afraid to support people. Like, people consider, like, when you're supporting them, either, like, you clout chasing or dick riding or, like, you know, you're trying to hop on a wave. Like, nah, if I fuck with your shit, I fuck with your shit. And if that's how you feel, I don't know, you got some insecurities, like, whatever. Like, just support people, that's the biggest thing. Especially when it's genuine and you're not really trying to get anything out of it, like, it goes a long way. That's fire. This is the little, little quick sit down with the caveman right here. Yeah, a little quick. Uh, it right would have been longer, but you know, we got the TJ pop up coming through. We about to teach you how to scam, so <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Shout out the swipes. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you up next time. Have a great one.